So here we are, everybody. Getting towards the end of September. The leaves are just starting to change, a couple of them. And there's already a few leaves falling out where they're starting to get into the creek. I don't know why Upper Creek has such a bad connotation and like a bad meaning, like, oh, he's Upper Creek. I would think it's a good thing. I love to, I love being Upper Creek, as long as I, you know, got a fishing pole with me or something. So I'm going up this creek and um, it's kind of, like I said, towards the end of the summer, Fall is going to be coming soon, and I got to get a lot of these little wading trips and these kind of trips in before these fish shut down. I'm hoping they're going to hit some top water, but the water is very low. It's clear. It may make it a little tougher, but it might, it should make it a little easier to go upstream, and that's what we're doing. So let's go up this creek. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another one with it. There's another one with it. Get hooked, get hooked, get hooked. Bite at it, bite at it. I think he did. Look at that. That's what it came for. Oh, that's a nice fish. That is a nice one. There we go. It was a little nice. 12 inch largemouth. Kind of fish we're looking for today. Killed that top water. There was another one right about the same size with it. This is that uh, Patroller 90 mock baits. And first one landed on it. And he hit hard. Well, I was wondering about stopping. I, I hadn't seen a lot of good fish yet. And I've seen a lot of, I've seen some small ones. But I think I'm gonna stick with this um, top water till we get a little further upstream. Oh, oh. there's something. Oh, I spooked it off. Oh, there it is. There's something big up there. And it's not interested. It's a little bit interested, I think, but it's not. Oh, there's a little large mouth right there. Let's see if he's interested. Nope. Uh, there's a big one in this. There's a lot of little fish in here, but there's definitely one that's just. <gasps> come on, come on. There's something came out. What was that? That right there. He's coming right at me. Look at him with his mouth open. That big one in there is at least a, I'd say 15, 16 incher in that other one. That's a really nice fish up in here. And there's there's that one over there, it's probably a 14. And there was another one up there that was big too. I look at these little ones right here. There's one, two, those are probably 10, 12 inches. Where'd that big one go? He was right over here beside me. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. That's a really nice fish. With this water being so low and clear, it makes it a little bit harder to catch them. They get, I guess, more weary and stuff. Got one of those fish. A yum dinger. There's several good ones in here, and I think one of them's a nice smallmouth. Yep, 
Yeah, that's not a bad one. He's kind of skinny. Yeah, he's really skinny. Probably not. I guess they're just eating. I don't know. There's a lot of fish in here. There's a ton of bait fish in here. But he's not looking too good. Oh, a little flap. I'm just trying to go through a couple things, see um, if there's something that can get some of these fish. Because uh, there's not too many deep holes in here, but we'll see because we're going to try to get up past where we've been before. Oh, whoa. I thought I saw a nice one come over. I did. He, or something nice came over, looked at it, and then he went back away. Dude, I got my lure right in front of a fish. He's not budging. What do they want to eat? I don't know what's going on with the fish today. There's a lot, there's a fish sitting right there and I couldn't get him to move. Threw him a lure right by him. Maybe a little crankbait would be something that's more, like just gets them to react to it. Oh, they're about to blow up on these bait fish back here. Yep, they got closer, closer. Oh, one blow up back there. We got some more still on the prowl back here. They're definitely keyed into those little little um, minnows. Maybe I need to throw a little minnow or a little crankbait. Come on, come on. Oh, there it is. I got hit from two or three little, little guys. Oh, get out of the rocks. Well, this ain't the big ones. There's a bunch of fish in these holes. They're just trapped in until we get a lot of rain, I guess. There's so many good fish in there swimming around. It's so funny. This one's, he's got a tail of something sticking out. He's bleeding a little bit, but. It'll be fine. Get him back in there. Of course, he was up at the current up here, or at least where the water's coming in. Any other hungry ones up here? Hmm. This fish. I'm being tough today. What's that bass doing right there? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because the water's so low. But I'm walking right up behind it. That's a, it's a solid fish. It's like a 13, 14 inch fish, I'd say. Bass. Just sitting there. He ain't even budging. Casting right up top of him, won't even move. Come on, where y'all at? Nothing. How's there nothing right there? Let's try back here in a little shady pocket. I got a stick. There is. There had to be something in that that little deep pocket. There's like an undercut. It's at the head of the pool. There's an old structure there. We got a nice fish. There's one on the. Is that a spotted bass? Another one on the Zara puppy. I'm starting to like this lure. I never used them much. But I'm starting to like, it's easy to work it, easy to use it. And it is, that's a spotted bass. Oh, 13 incher, I'd say. 
Pretty good catch. Yeah, it's like I'm getting one bite out of the out of these deep holes. One bite per deep hole, even though there's several good fish in them. Sometimes uh, even really good chairs, you know. Man, this water is really, really low. It's usually flowing really good through here, but it's just trickling through into the summer, waiting on that fall, winter rain that we always get. Good stick, good stick. Yeah. Well, I've tried a few different things. Got me a Nico Helgermite with some chartreuse in it. And this is a good little deep stretch. Um, got current coming in. I don't, I can't remember if I've gone up past this. I think I went like just a couple feet past it. But I don't know of any deep holes past it, but we're going to go up anyways. Can I at least go past where I've, at least pat, go to somewhere I've never been. But with the way those fish were not biting, I don't know what we're going to, if we're going to catch anything else. I'm going to walk for a little while. I have been to that bridge. That's right. I have been, that's where I turned around at one time because I didn't think there was anything further upstream. It kind of just looked small. But either someone told me or I've looked on the map or something and I think there's some pools. I don't know how far. Since it's a nice cool day, we'll just walk for a while until I get to a pool. Check this out. I did find a little bit bigger pool. I stopped, I looked upstream. Look at these deer. They're over here chilling in the sun too. I mean in the shade. There's uh, three deer at least. Maybe more. In the shade over there. Um, well, that's a young fawn there. It's awful late in the season have a fawn that late. But it looks like he's getting bigger. There's at least four deer staying in the water, in the shade, taking it easy. Check out how flat there's those their deer go. They're up there, still staring at me trying to eat in the shade. But this is uh, creek bed. We ain't got a lot of water, but look how flat and just all of a sudden it changes. So much different. A lot easier for walking. Oh, they're going deer. They ran off again. All right, we're past where we've ever been. I don't know anything up. Oh, that looks like a nice little pool up there. Or it could be real shallow, but we're going to keep going. Yeah, there's my first fall. Wasn't bad though. <sighs> the terrain goes from this flat rock ledges or flat rock back to uh, about little boulders it's weird sections through there oh there's a snake wait where'd he go first snake i saw today um he went down somewhere oh that looks like a nice little pool up there it was a real small one probably just a water snake but it could have been Copperhead. I don't know. I, did, I barely saw it. Surprised. I thought I'd see way more snakes. Whoa, that actually looks like a nice deep pool up here. Oh, oh. Oh. I got something. 
something little. And hey, it's our first red breast today. Usually they hit the bigger lures. That's a good size red breast. Was there other fish? There's yeah. There. Thought there were some more fish following it. There's gotta be a good fish in that hole. I don't see a ton of bait fish. And it's got some depth to it. Oh, oh, what is it? I see a tail of something big. Where'd he go? Oh, I got something coming up on it. Dude, there's fish in there. There's fish in there. Come on, we gotta get, oh, oh he's on it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. I got one. Just nib oh, he's just nibbling on it. He just ah, uh, he did not eat it. What is wrong with these fish? I can't get them to bite stuff. There's a lot. There's several bass in this hole. crazy I don't know what's going on there's I'm getting up to a couple holes that are there's definitely some large there's definitely some fish in here bass good size ones it looks like too but they still just are not aggressive there's fish in there These deep holes are getting deeper. There's fish in here, but I can't get bites. Well, we made it to, I don't even know what bridge this is. I'm gonna have to look on my maps. I mean, if I have to walk back all this way, it's gonna take a while. I've come quite a ways, especially without catching very many fish. But I just, I've seen holes that are interesting enough and, and a few of them that had fish just to kind of keep me going to think at any second I come across one that's holding a nice bass that's just ready to hit. All right, we're not gonna go much further past this bridge. I think I've marked this on the maps. I didn't realize this was the same area. There's a nice depot right here, but there's a park right here. I think where people come and swim. I didn't even know this was, I, I forgot that I was even in this area. I get my creeks confused sometimes. What in the world? Is that a fish? What is that? Dude, that looks like a big smallie. Trying to hide. Oh, it's a rock bass. That was a huge rock bass trying to hide. He went under another rock. Wow, that was pretty neat. Some days an exploration trip is just that, a lot of exploration, but it was fun to interact with all the things, other than the fish I caught, all the other things, which I saw tons of fish and the water was so clear. It was really cool 
to see uh, them, what they were doing, see how many fish were in some of these holes, um, see the difference in like where they live, and where, you know, and then some holes where they're not, to see the deer and just all the other things that go along with that. Plus being out here on a really nice day made it a whole lot easier. I think I probably went about a mile, at least a mile and a half up the creek, a little zigzag. But thank goodness I can walk the road back and it's 1.9 miles back, but I would, I'll take that way over um, trying to avoid slipping, especially as I'm, my legs are getting tired. So I'm gonna walk back the road, plus we get to go by a gas station on the way.